on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. LeBron passes to eight. Ooh. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close. <laughs> Yep, I go with this, man. All right. Okay. That's good, man. That's good. All right, let's do this, man. Two loss in a row. That's bad, dog. That's bad. the 2K Compete MVP statistics. How does it feel? It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith. Moments away, it'll be the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Tough game taking a look at the Lakers. So far, they've staggered to a 3-7 and seven record out of the blocks this season. They need a much better mark in their next 10 games than they had in their first 10, or it could be a season in jeopardy. And a 30-point outburst from AI last game. Kenny, has he surprised you with his ability to score at this level? You know, I really didn't realize he'd be so assertive. I, I just thought that he'd be a little bit more passive, but he just came out and says, look, I have a sense of what I need to do offensively, and I'm going to get it done. Ernie, don't correct me. I'm about to say a word that I know it's not a real word, but don't it doesn't matter. Don't say feet matter. work. Oh, Ernie, I didn't don't think. Don't say feet work. Ernie, I didn't think his don't feet. Don't say feet work. Ernie, I didn't think his feet work would be so polished. He oh, sees the floor extremely well for a young it's player. Footwork. Feet work. Oh, my gosh. Foot is one. Feet is two. Yeah, you ever buddy. see a guy play with one leg and one foot? No. Thank you very much. That's great footwork. Feet work. work. I'm leaving. Please, you and I, I'm, me and my feet are going. I'm just leaving. I love those guys, man. They're funny. Ah, come on, let's do this. It's a Western Conference battle here at the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles as the Lakers look to work home court advantage. It's Wednesday Night Basketball live on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. This game is part of the travel schedule for Minnesota. Still early in the season, but the front office and coaching staff likes what they are seeing from this team so far. Better winning percentage than last year. And I think some changes for the Lakers. Oh, AI has okay. checked in for JaVale McGee. Finally. Ingram comes in for Harris. Marjan Rondo is subbed in for Lonzo Ball. The Timberwolves also changing it up. Sharch has checked in for Gibson. Dang comes in for Robert Covington. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Jeff T. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, nice. hang out there with Dario Saric. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Towns. And it's Rose in at the point guard. Chris, there are a lot of players offensively in this league who do certain things, just the nuances that create contact and draw fouls and, and get themselves to the line, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, when I think of fouls, I think of, of James Harden. If I was a big man in the league today, I would have nightmares about this guy because he gets to the free throw <laughs> line almost enough. Was it 10 times a game? His euro step, his way to put his elbow up, he baits you to reach in, and then there's a the presence of mind to be so quick that once you put your hand in the cookie jar, it's like your little brother telling him, Ma, and you get in trouble. And that's what he does. He makes sure hey, that the ref sees you getting that contact, you getting the foul. And how about the 
DeMar DeRozan, uh, what he does and, and being so strong attacking the hole and DeMar, DeMarcus Cousins inside using his big body in the post. Uh, th those come to mind uh, the quickest using their skill set to draw fouls on other players because there's an art to it. Some changes for the Lakers. Chandler comes in for Kyle Kuzma and it's Kentavious Caldwell Pope in for James. Timberwolves also changing it up. Corky Dangs checked in for Towns. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Wiggins. Dang against Ingram. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Last season, C. Webb, the Lakers made an effort to play with a high pace in their game. So this is the direction the team wants to strive towards. I mean, second in the league last season in pace of play. The players and the front office all want to get back to that Showtime era Lakers style of play. He gets it in there. And Derrick Rose certainly equipped athletically to punish teams in the paint. Let's send it over to David Aldridge who caught up with head coach Tom Thibodeau. D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. He told me that when you're playing against a team as good as they are inside, you have to stop the easy looks. He said if they can keep them out of the paint, they'll be in good shape to win. We'll see, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David. Much appreciated. Minnesota comes into this one following a loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. And it's Jones. That time in the assist by Dang. Now it's a three-point Timberwolves lead. Oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. Rondo kicks to AI. Poked away. It's stolen by Sharch. Wants to get it to Rose and does. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. LA's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Caldwell Pope feeling it out a bit. Outside Rondo. Shot clock at five. And here's Ingram from the arc. Here's AI. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on Sharich. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. And, and, and anybody can get a run of the mill put back, but he makes them count. Can I make it? Yes. Thank you. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Last time they met was in Minnesota. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. And that's what led them to a blowout win. Offensively, they were solid, but their defense was what really carried them. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And there's the call on Dario Sharch. Right. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's already his second foul. He may have to spend some time on the bench to stay out of early foul trouble. Caldwell Pope against Rose. Caldwell Pope outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming Take up. Out, it's going to be on Sharich. Look, Caldwell Pope, Kevin, he's one of the better 3 and D wings in this league. He's very active with his hands. And on defense, you Maybe. know he's always going to get a handful Maybe. of steals. But Maybe. he's not the Maybe. most efficient scorer. But he's solid from deep. And with Caldwell Pope, as good as he is, he can be inconsistent. Oh, yeah. I mean, like any player, he's going to have his good nights and bad nights. It's just with KCP, the bad nights sometimes really stick out. It all averages out in the end with him, but sometimes you'll think he's a star. And other nights you'll wonder, what is he doing out there? The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. AI passes to Ingram. Back to AI. And AI throws it down. Well, Ingram plays some point guard in high school. Right there, you see he's showing off his passing skills. 130 left to play in the first quarter. Jones kicks to Zhang. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Charge with it. Now Chandler defending. 
13 feet away. The shot by Sharch, no good. Los Angeles has gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Inside, AI, and AI throws it down. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Throws up on top. He's covered by Rondo. Rondo against Rose. Lock at six. Fades and shoots. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Tang's got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. The Lakers shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. AI dishes to Ingram. Back to AI. That one good for two. AI's got 11. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Rose against Rondo. Now here's Rose. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Clippers. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. It's all tied here in Los Angeles. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. One of the most high-powered scorers in the game, Carl Anthony Towns knows it's important to keep his teammates involved. You know, everyone has to get some of the sugar, you know, mm -hmm. so making sure you're not just being a ball hall. So I'm just always trying to make sure that I'm taking wide open shots that I think everyone on the team would love for me to take if I have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. But also at the end of the day, making sure everyone gets a chance to be in your candy shop. Well, when you're attracting That's Greg, do, all man. that defensive attention, it creates yeah, opportunities for your teammates. And Towns wants to win big. To do that, though, it's not enough to get numbers. You've got to make your teammates better as well. Uh. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. Yeah. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? They've gotten that perimeter game going in that first, way. and for me, Go that was the out. difference. Well, and not only in right terms in of building the lead, but now the defense has to extend itself. That leads to other opportunities. Rondo and Caldwell Pope in the backcourt. Lance Stevenson is out there with Chandler, and it's AI in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Rondo against Jones. It's deflected. Stevenson finds Chandler. And no good. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Yeah, he has that capacity. He knows exactly where to position himself to protect the rim. That puts them in the lead. And that's now six points for Luol Dang. There's no reason you should leave someone open around Sark. I mean, that's just asking for trouble. Stevenson passes to AI. And here in the second, with about a minute and a half gone by. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul. Balls checked in for Rajon Rondo. And a change for the Timberwolves. Robert Covington's checked in for Luol Dang. Here's AI. 35 points for him last game against Toronto. Now don't forget his rebounding work, too. They couldn't contain him on the glass. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the Lakers making a change here. Harris has checked in. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Teague's checked in. Outside Rose. Passes it to Sharich. Rose against Harris. Rose kicks to Teague. Shoots from the elbow. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Harris against Rose. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. 
Chris, you played for five different teams, a couple of them multiple times. How long do you think it takes to feel comfortable in, in a new situation for a player? I, I tell you, Kevin, that's such a hard, tight rope to play. I remember mm. uh, going to different teams, and you have to understand the culture of the team. You have to understand who their best players are already. You have to understand the style of play. And building trust takes time from both sides. So usually you'll come into a situation, and you want to make sure that you show and that you're a great teammate. Ooh. And so usually in that area, teammates are saying, wow. wait a minute, we brought the That's guy, exactly we brought you over here. About. We want you to be that guy that, that we traded that. for, the guy we just signed or recruited. Mm -hmm. We were a fan of you. Do the things that you do great. We'll catch up with you. So a lot of it starts with mutual respect, and that means mutual deferment. And then after a while you both deferring, you're like, wait, we got to win some games. Okay, you be you, I'll be us, and we'll all do it together. <laughs> and kind of once you get over that kind of fine dance in the beginning, that icebreaker, usually that's when things start rolling. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Rose. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers in their last game, a loss to the Raptors. Yeah, their last outing was a rough one. Uh, have to be careful of falling in love with that three. Yeah, it looks good when it's going in, but they definitely forced some. Overall, pretty inaccurate from out there. Harris outside. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And the rejection by Town. And his foot movement is what makes Town such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. And there it is for him. And now a four point Timberwolves lead. I mean, this could end up being a big night for him. I mean, if this quarter is any indication. And here is Harris. He's coming off a 13-point game against Toronto. Makes it off the glass. Adept at scoring from any area of the floor. Harris, a guy you got to stay up on. Teague finds Gibson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Nice. And stolen by James. Me, me. Pass to AI. Okay. Down low. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. And he has the size to be a factor inside. Ball doesn't shy away from testing his luck from there. Teague dishes to Wiggins. Inside and Towns throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Wiggins against Harris. James left side over Gibson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Taj Gibson picks one up. When James gets you in the air, I mean, you're toast. He's superb at going right into the contact. Well, the, the big story in the offseason was LeBron's free agency. You knew that there would be a ton of rumors flying around about where he might end up. Honestly, I'm sure he's glad it's yeah. over with and can once again focus on the court. They now take the lead. And Kuzma's got his second bucket of the night. The timing, the precision. You got to respect Kuzma's ability to drain shots off the pass. Covington passes to Towns. Left side, Gibson. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on LeBron James. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Thank well, you. I know he's Thank not you. the number one priority for the defense, but they still got to give him some attention, guys. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. Outside Towns. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. Teague's got his fourth assist in this one. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Harris against Covington. Now Harris. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. 
And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And so it's Teague with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They trail by one. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Yeah, you're just not going to win many committing turnovers at the rate they did. That, that was just outrageous. Well, and then to compound the problem, uh, they failed to force mistakes with their hey. defense. Just too much turnover differential. There's no lack of aggression on his part. When he's got the chance to score, he'll take it. Teague against Ball. Tipped away. Not the ball. What are you doing? What's AI kicks the ball. James against Covington. Shoots over Covington. And he overshot that one, missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Misses the corner three. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Harris finds James. Now here's Kuzma. And Gibson sends it back. And Gibson just out here to play hard defense, showing great awareness. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it, and is that helping you score? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with it. You know how I'm trying to, you know, help our teammates. You know, I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the flow, as well as keep myself in a good groove too. So, um, hopefully, I can do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed. AI has checked in for the Lakers. Okay. I got to get good, man. Teague for three. Rebound the Lakers. AI's got rebound number five here tonight. Not a very consistent quarter for him in terms of his shooting. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Gibson plays the four with Towns in the middle. And it's Covington in at the three spot. Five on the clock. Harris dishes to AI. The basket good off the assist from Corey Harris. Harris has got five assists tonight. Just really unselfish there. Harris is someone who knows when one of his guys is wide open. Teague against Ball. Teague, the pass to Gibson. It's tipped, and he recovers it. Minnesota shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one drops. Hey, Andrew Wiggins, the, the number one overall pick back in 14. Great bloodlines, the son of pro athletes. The game just seems to come easy to him. Lakers leading by three. Here's Harris. Now the pass the ball. Back to Harris. Begins with the block. Gibson with the steal. Oh my God. It's Covington on the wing. Covered by LeBron. Teague surveying the D. To the middle. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Teague. And that's 10 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Lakers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. You know, Greg, the game comes so easy to Wiggins, but some say he needs to be more assertive, more aggressive. Do you see that? I mean, high expectations for a player that was taken first overall. The length and athleticism should enable him to impact the game in so many ways, but, you know, his motor doesn't always rev high enough to take advantage. T kicks to Gibson. The pass to Wiggins. Here's Towns. Second chance shot. McGee with the block. And he gets it back. Goes up again. Misses off the Where's left eye. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, then getting right up on the jump shot. 
In the corner, it's James. Ball with it. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Right side, Towns. To the inside, Gibson. Another shot. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from AI. Covington against James. And it's AI missing. Timberwolves trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Wow. He's got his first three of the game. Took more than a half to do it, though. Timeout called the Lakers. And Carl Anthony Towns, one of the most prolific three-point shooters in the league, at least top three amongst all seven-footers. And his three-point percentage elite as well, over 40%. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Sharch has checked in for Minnesota. Rose comes in for Jeff T. To the paint. And AI gets it to go. AI's got six points in the quarter. An elite passer at his position. I mean, James always seems to make the right decision. And Down said he'd emulate Kevin Durant as a kid <laughs> playing on the perimeter at Kentucky. Uh, Cal made him play inside, work in the post, and use his size. So go going back to his roots with his three-point shooting, the, the association experiencing a three-point renaissance, and he really does fit the mold. That's the ball. Guy, the ball right there. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. From 12 feet out. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Corey Harris with the rebound. Give it up for the D. No fear. You risk getting posterized. You know what, though? You still take him. Here's Towns. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. LeBron passes to eight. Ooh. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Rose with the ball. Now guarded by Ball. Here's Towns. Rebound the Lakers. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. Ingram outside. Here's AI. The second effort. He can't get that one to fall. So Minnesota will take it the other way. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that's the final game of this five-game road run for the team. And the call will be against Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul. Some changes for the Lakers. Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Harris. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Lonzo Ball. Minnesota also making some changes. Jang, he's checked in for Towns. Dang comes in for Robert Covington. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Wiggins. Caldwell Pope kicks to AI. The dish to James. Back to AI. And the shot goes in. AI's got 10 points here in the second half. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Rose against Rondo. Charge outside. On the wing, Jones. Takes the three. Unable to get that one. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Rondo with a clean look and trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And ah. so it's Dang bringing it up for Minnesota. It's a one-point game. Off target with his three. L.A.'s gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. What is going on? Here's Sharch. Softly drops in the floater. Sharch has got six. Look at that, Kevin. I mean, the penetrating skills on display. The mobility of Sari. So difficult to defend against. Caldwell Pope against Rose. 
Caldwell Pope passes to AI. Out to Ingram, and too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings. They tell a great story. You look at Utah, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And when you look at the Lakers, they're moving in the wrong direction. The good news, though, it's still early in the season. A lot of games left to be played. Plenty of time to turn things around. Oh, and the long arms of Caldwell Pope are so dangerous on defense. He is so good at making his man feel uncomfortable, which in turn earns him a ton of steals. And Sharich kicks to Jones. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one on Caldwell Pope. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. The Lakers making a switch here. Kuzma's checked in. When you were playing on the road, obviously the fans would yell things and, you know, try to get under your skin. See, Webb, do you remember any instance when, when it really bothered you and, and, and took effect? Maybe when I would go home and play for the Pistons, I'd see some fan in a green and white, and maybe Steve Smith, my partner, paid him to be there. But, you know, the Michigan State fans, you know, the gold blue or, or that type of thing. Or in Ohio, it's very funny, you know, in Ohio, if they want to boo, if they want to get the crowd pumped up, all they do is put a big Michigan Michigan M up there and the crowd will go crazy and boo. So Ohio, <laughs> usually my people in Ohio State to Cleveland, they always, you know, had something to say. No, but it was more like, you know, you suck. Ohio State is the best, you know, <laughs> Michigan State, you should have come here. That type of stuff. And yeah. you kind of look back, give a guy a wink, knock her down a jump shot and put your fingers to your lips and just say, shh, you don't want to get me upset. Let, oh. let sleeping dogs lie. That's great. That's great. That's tipped. It's stolen by Jones. And there's the feed to Rose. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Rose has got 10 points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Jones against Ronda. In the corner, it's Stevenson. Good. And it's Ronda who picks up the assist. Yeah, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. Jones kicks to Dang. Passes to Sharich. Jones trying to get open. <laughs> and here we go. Fast break, and AI's got it. And AI nice. throws it down. Yeah, getting theirs before the defense can set up. Well, that's just the aggressiveness of transition, making sure they come away with points. Rose against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Rose. He's got 10. Over Caldwell Pope and some nice defense there to end the quarter. And we've reached the end of the third. Timberwolves lead by six. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. Right back, man. Let's go score, stop, score here. Everyone talk defensively. Get stops and then let's go. Let's go. Make the game easy for each other. Make plays. Get your spacing. And defense, obviously, so important to Coach Thibodeau. I mean, he wants his team to get stops and leak out fast. Fundamental basketball. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So for the Lakers right now, Ball is the point with KCP at his side. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Lane. One shot. Come on. That's what they want to see from him, attacking, getting whistles, and maybe causing some foul trouble. 
Lakers trail by 10. LeBron kicks to Harris. Floats it up for AI. An emphatic alley-oop jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Rose with the ball. Picked up by Harris. Back to Sharch. Six to shoot. Pass to Chang. Riggins outside. Fires the three. And the rejection by James. Wow. And that one's good. Wiggins. How do you miss it? Uh, once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. To the inside. AI. And AI throws it down. Oh, look at that awareness of ball. Fantastic at recognizing when his teammates are wide open. Timberwolves leading by eight. Wiggins outside. Towns finds Rose. Over LeBron. And the rejection by James. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles from 12 feet out. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by Ball. Ball's got three assists tonight. Uh, hard to get into Kuzma's head. Even when you contest his shot, his focus is razor sharp. Double team on Rose. There's the pass to Jang. And there's the call on James. That'll be his second foul of the game. JaVale McGee's. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight yeah. games won at home, that mm. advantage of having you. that crowd you. behind you, you oftentimes is Thank the you. ultimate X factor. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone. Thank you. We needed that, man. Mm -hmm. We got one. Here's a guy I'm looking for, AI. Yo, what's up, man? I uh, got you lined up for an interview, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, let's do it. I'm perfect, good luck. Thank you. Hey, this is Shaq. Rawr! You've been beasting these last few games, and it's fun to watch. Anything you feel you've done differently to make this impact? Oh, man. You know, Shaq, uh, sometimes adrenaline takes over, and I just decide it's time to go out there and put on a show. You know, I'm a man of the people, and the people won't win, so that's what I'm going to give them. You're not a man. You're an animal. Rawr! You go. 